Hey you guys, it's Denise Walsh and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss something that I've been kind of practicing, honing in on over the past few years and I'm certainly not an expert by any means. So if you know a lot about this topic, I wanna learn from you. Post in the comments below because I'm really making a decision to grow in this area and that is connecting with my intuition. Now, I looked up intuition in the dictionary, and this is what it says. It says, the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. So basically, building your intuition, in my experience, is like this inner knowing, this inner uh, uh, like gauge a little bit, um, this feeling that you get, you know, when you walk into a room and maybe somebody's in a tense conversation, you're like, oh dear, I'm out of here. Like you can feel that energy. In my experience, intuition is just that inner knowing without being told, without like hearing or understanding, you just kind of know it's that gut feeling. And throughout the last few years, I've been practicing meditation, journaling, listening to headspace, giving my, my body and my mind a space to rest in, for even just for about five, 10 minutes in the morning so that I can kind of settle in and listen to that intuition a bit more clearly. When we are busy bees all over the place, we just aren't able to listen to God speaking to us or listen to ourselves very well. And so creating that space is important. And then one thing I've learned to do, and again, this is where I totally will use your help and expertise if you are have developed the skill, is trusting that intuition, trusting that gut, saying yes when I feel a certain way and seeing how it plays out. And, and how I listen to my intuition or my gut is, is really that feeling, like I put my, I'm having my hands on my belly right now because it truly is that gut instinct. When I'm focusing on something, should I do this? my gut re response, either anxiety, tightening, closing, that's like a no, opening free is yes. And you can do that with any decision that you have to make, any family decision, any career decision, any relationship decision. You can ask yourself and kind of focus on that and then see how your body responds. The other thing I've seen or experienced is when my body or my, my gut is tensed up like that, sometimes it means that I need to speak my truth. Like I'll notice my body gets anxiety or a little like when I'm in an uncomfortable situation and I need to speak up, you know, sometimes those crucial conversations happen and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to talk to, you know, I need to like say what I'm feeling. And that can be a cue for you to speak your truth and, and to say what you mean and like stand proud and like own your feelings and your thoughts and yourself, right? So anyway, this is something I'm practicing, but I wanted to open a conversation with all of us about it because I think that this is a skill we all can learn and we all can get better at. So for me, I'm practicing listening to my gut when it's tight and closed, that's a no. When it's open and free, it's a yes. I'm asking God questions. I'm asking myself questions. And then I'm sinking in, like leaning back and um, wait, you know, allowing my body to kind of tell me what it thinks. Isn't that interesting? Trusting your gut. Like, seriously, trusting your gut and paying attention to what's going on. I'm excited. I want to keep practicing. Let me know what you think below. <laughs> if you think this is helpful, uh, I would love to refer you to two free resources. I've got the Dreamcast, all major podcast players, which is full of inspirational interviews and amazing stories. And then I also have the Dream Life Action Planner, which is my time management tool that I use every single time I start a new project so I can have a 90-day game plan and just run. So denisewalsh.com slash action. <laughs> Thanks again for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.